Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And I'm just making this one real quick, just to answer a couple of questions and talk about a few topics. So let's get right into it. First things first, Galaxy Note 9. Now the Galaxy Note 9, as of today, is my favorite phone out right now, period. Now there's a couple of things I wanna address about that. Shout out to everybody that's new to my channel. I read all of the comments in every video. And lately I've been getting the same comment over and over and over. A lot of people saying that I'm only saying that I like the Galaxy because Samsung is paying me. I'm on Samsung's payroll. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting sponsored to say that I like it. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Anybody that's been on my channel for the last 10 years, y'all know how I feel about Samsung phones. It's a love-hate relationship. I always love them when I, when I first get them and I unbox them, I'm always gonna love them. I always like Samsung phones. But when they start to lag, I'm always gonna call them out on the lag. I'm gonna bash them. Take it back to some of my old school videos. Look at the Samsung Epic. I got a video titled, Samsung Epic Fail. Even as recently as the Galaxy Note 8. Now look, everybody that's new to my channel, I understand why y'all would think that I'm getting sponsored or I'm getting paid to say that I like something because you see me in a couple of Samsung commercials. You see me in a few of the ads. You see me in the launch event video. So I understand why y'all would think that. But anybody that's been on my channel, y'all know that I only pledge allegiance to the hotness. I ain't never gonna say I like something that I don't like. And that's part of the problem with reviewing stuff on YouTube. Whenever you actually like something, people just never believe that you really like it. They always think there's some ulterior motive behind it. And that's not true. All right, when it comes to the Galaxy Note 9, this is my favorite phone right now. And when I do the full review, if it starts to lag, if it starts to have any problems, I'm gonna bash it just like I did every other Galaxy phone. Now let me start driving too, cause I gotta go somewhere. Now speaking of the Galaxy Note 9, shout out to everybody that watched that live stream. For now on, whenever I go to one of these events, I'm gonna live stream it. Because that event was mad long and it was mad boring. It was at 10 o'clock in the morning. Y'all know I'm a nighttime vulture, so that's, that's way too early for me. I was pretty bored at that event, but when I live streamed it, the best part about that event was the comment section of the live stream. So I gotta take a moment and say thank you to everybody that watched that stream and kept me company. Y'all had me dying in the comment section. Now I couldn't reply to the comments because I had to hold the phone. That video I made holding the phone like this with two hands for over an hour straight. All right, so my arms was like this. I couldn't type any responses. And I also couldn't, I couldn't, uh, <laughs> I couldn't speak into the camera because I was sitting in the press box and on both sides of me, people was updating their websites and doing press articles. And I ain't wanna be standing there talking into the phone, interrupting everybody like a fucking scumbag. So thank y'all to to for watching that live stream and keeping me company. For now on, anytime I go to one of these events, I'm gonna live stream it and I'm gonna watch the comments and we're gonna have a good time. But let me answer the main questions that everybody been asking me about the Galaxy Note 9. Number one, is it my favorite phone? And like I said, yes. It's my favorite phone. This phone does everything that you want a flagship phone to do. The only couple of things that I can bitch about, which I'm gonna do right now, spoiler alert, no IR blaster. Now shout out to Huawei, they keeping the IR blasters alive. I respect them for that. I know IR blaster, I would have liked to have seen that. Number two, the color choices. Now usually, that's one of my petty gripes, the color choices, but this time, that's not petty. This is a major fail for Samsung. Why do they only have two color choices in the USA? You only got the Thanos purple or the marine biologist blue. Now don't get me wrong, I like both of those colors, but you mean to tell me I'm spending a thousand to 1250 bucks on a phone and I can't get black? I can't get the copper? I don't understand that at all. And keep in mind, a lot of people that's buying the Note, you got the S Pen, so you buying that as your business phone. A lot of people are not gonna want a business phone that's purple or a business phone that's blue. You know, you go to one of those meetings and everybody got their iPhones on the table. You trying to look executive status. You want to look like a boss. You don't go, you, you, you pulling out a purple phone or a blue phone. You want the black or you, even the copper. Looks a little bit more professional than the purple or the blue. So I don't like how they didn't give you any color choices. I don't like that at all. Next. Now keep, now keep in mind y'all, I'm trying to concentrate on driving and I'm talking at the same time. So it might sound like I'm rambling and I'm going all over the place. That's because there's no format to this. I'm just talking out loud. Shout out to the cops. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, where was
was I? All right, so, so far, I don't like the color choices. All right, I don't like the price. Yeah, I know that already. I don't like that. And another thing I don't like, the lack of innovation. And what I mean by that is, look at some of the last phones that I just unboxed. The Oppo Find X. That's what you call innovation. That slide up camera, that's the most badass feature that I used on any phone in the last, I don't know how many years. That might be the most badass feature I used yet. I'm gonna talk more about that in a second. Same thing with the Vivo Next S. That pop-up camera, fingerprint sensor built into the display, that's innovation. Same thing with Huawei Mate RS, fingerprint sensor built into the display. There was a lot of rumors that Samsung was gonna do that and they never did it. I, I don't understand that. It's a lack of innovation. Think about it like this. If you got a Galaxy a S9 Plus or you got maybe a Note 8, you're basically buying the same phone again, just a newer version. And I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna talk about that right now too. All right, so there's a few things about the Note that I'm already not feeling, but overall, all right, overall, if I gotta put it into a big basket, pound for pound, it's the best phone out right now. It does everything that I need it to do. Big, beautiful display. So you got the dual speakers, wireless charge, always on display, it's water resistant, 4,000 milliamp battery. You, you, you can't really complain about that. Now, let me answer the, some, of the, uh, some of the next questions that I've been getting asked. Next, if you got a Galaxy Note 8, should you upgrade and get a Galaxy Note 9? And the answer is yes and no. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. Yes, if you got a Galaxy Note 8, and your Note 8 is lagging and running slow like mine's, then you're definitely gonna wanna get an upgrade on your, on your phone. Now, shout out to Samsung. They do have some good deals right now. Uh, let, me, let me talk about this too for a minute. Uh, matter of fact, let me, let me stay on track. Yes, you should upgrade if your Galaxy Note 8 is lagging. That's the simple answer. Now, if you got a Galaxy Note 8 and it's not lagging, I read all of the comments in every video. I get the same comment all the time. Yo, I got my Galaxy Note 8. It doesn't lag. It's still running like, yo, brand new, fresh out of the box. All right, cool. You're lucky. If you're lucky enough to have a Galaxy Note 8 that doesn't lag and it's running smooth just like day one, my advice to you would be keep that Galaxy Note 8 because if you upgrade and get the Galaxy Note 9, you're not going to be blown away. All right, the, the biggest difference is going to be the S Pen, the Bluetooth feature. Other than that, yeah, you got an updated processor. It's going to be a little bit smoother, maybe a little bit faster. But feature-wise, it's going to be the same thing. Same thing. So like I said, if you got a Galaxy Note 8 and it's not lagging, keep it. If you got a Galaxy Note 8 and you got mad hiccups, mad lag like mine's, it's almost unusable. Now, anybody that watches my videos, y'all know, I don't care what phone it is. If that phone is lagging, that cannot be my daily driver. And a perfect example, you know, I go to work. I got to take the elevator up to the fifth floor. I get in the elevator. There's always going to be some people that stop at one, two, three, four. So I got a few minutes while I'm up in the elevator. I grab my phone. I want to go to Instagram, check out a few buttons. You know what I'm saying? I want to reply to a couple of my YouTube comments. I pull out my Galaxy Note 8 and it's lagging. It takes a long time to open the phone. I might open up YouTube and just say, you know what? Let me open up Creative Studio instead. Or let me open up Instagram instead. I go to close it out. It's a long transition. Sometimes, sometimes it'll freeze. That's basically unusable for me. I can't use a phone like that. So if your Note 8 is running like that, then you're gonna need an upgrade. Now I'm not telling you to upgrade and get the Galaxy Note 9. Upgrade and get whatever you want. You might wanna wait for the Pixel XL3. You might wanna go with Huawei, LG, HTC. It's up to you. But if your phone is lagging, you need a new phone. Now, speaking of prices real quick while we're talking about that, I just ordered a Galaxy Note 9 from Samsung. I, now, I didn't order I didn't order the uh, 512 gig version because I don't need that. I don't need that much storage because I use a bunch of phones. But if this is gonna be your main phone and your only phone, and maybe you got another trap phone on the side, then you might want the 512. But anyway, when I ordered it, I got a set of free AKG headphones, the wireless ones, and I was able to trade in my old Galaxy S9, not the Plus, I traded in the S9. They gave me 450 bucks for the S9. After all of the little deals and all that, I paid 600 bucks for the Galaxy Note 9, the marine biologist blue version with 128 gigs worth of storage and free headphones. 600 bucks, the price is right. All right, so if you got a trade-in, now I didn't look through all of the different trade-ins, I'll do that by the time I do the video, but depending on which phone you're trading in, you could get up to 450 bucks off. 
that's a win, right? That's a win. Now, next question. You got a Galaxy S9 Plus. Should you upgrade and get a Galaxy Note 9? And the answer is no, all right? The answer is a definite no, unless you really need that S Pen. That's the only difference between the S9 Plus and the Note 9 is the S Pen. Other than that, same processor, same GPU, same camera, same everything. And uh, the Note 9, of course, you got an extra 500 milliamps with the battery. How is that gonna play out in day-to-day -day use? We're gonna see. But I would say, if you got an S9 Plus and you don't really care about the S Pen, save your money and rock out with that. Wait for the Galaxy S10 or wait for that foldable display phone. Now that's gonna be innovation. Foldable displays, that's what I'm waiting for. What else? All right, let's keep it moving. Now, here's a question I wanna ask y'all, and y'all let me know in the comments, cause I'm gonna read all of these comments tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever I upload this video. Do y'all want me to do the real review next week, or do y'all want me to wait until I get my retail version? Now, the retail version is probably not gonna be until August 25th, 26th, it comes out in stores on the 24th, so I'm probably not gonna get it till around then. So do y'all want me to re do a real review on this unit that I got right now, or y'all want me to wait to the retail version? Let me know, I could go either way. Personally, my opinion, I tend to rather wait until I get the retail version because a lot of times when you get pre-production phones, when you go to these events, the retail version has a few more tweaks and a few more upgrades, and sometimes it just runs better. So let me know if you, what y'all want me to do with that. But anyway, <laughs> what else? All right, let's talk about some other stuff that I got in the works. All right, when I do my stream, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow night, I might do it, but I'll get into more details about the launch event. A lot of people was asking me questions about who did I meet there and I had conversations that I had and all that. And I did have a lot of good conversations. I got a little bit of tea. If y'all want to sip the tea, we'll talk about all that on Sunday. But anyway, back to my channel, all right? Reviews. Now, everybody been asking me what's up with the Oppo Find X. I'm so mad at myself right now that I didn't review that phone last week. I was supposed to review it last week, but shout out to my daughter, she just started her YouTube channel. Oh, on a side note, on a side note, let me give a big thank you to everybody that subscribed to my daughter's channel. She already got a thousand subscribers. She feeling good about that. You know, and she working hard with it. You see her videos, she do way more editing than me. Like she putting a lot of heart and soul into that. And I appreciate all y'all for subscribing. Well, like I was saying, I was planning on doing my Oppo video last week, right? But I ended up helping her do uh, her sneaker video and I helped her do the baby food challenge which I cheated on, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. That's what dads do, we gotta cheat, we gotta win. Your dad is supposed to be a winner. Like, you, you can't let your kids see you fail and lose. So I, I had to cheat in order to win, but I was a man and I acknowledged it at the end, I fessed up. But anyway, I'm so mad that I didn't review that Oppo last week because I had so many high, high marks for that and high praises. I was getting ready to say how dope that phone is until I got the Galaxy Note 9. Once you get the Galaxy Note 9, all of these other phones, they're gonna feel like toys. And especially, especially if you paid a thousand bucks, right? If you paid a thousand bucks, hold up, let me bust this U-turn real quick. I was gonna jump on the highway, but it is what it is. If you paid a thousand bucks for your Oppo Find X, and then you paid a thousand bucks for the Note 9, you're gonna be like, yo, you're gonna feel like you just got raped. No Vaseline, all right? Straight Rikers Island status C74, all right? Shout out to everybody in Queens. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna be happy with your purchase after you use the Note 9. So like I said, if I would've reviewed it last week, I would've said the Oppo Find X is a major, major, major go. But after using it for a full week and then getting this Galaxy Note 9, I got different views on it. Now let's talk about the Oppo Find X real quick. All right, real quick. <laughs> That's my saying, real quick. Let's talk about the Oppo Find X. I love that phone because of the innovation. I got it right here. I love that phone because of the innovation. That slide up camera, that phone is gonna make you wanna use that slide up camera. It's gonna make you just take the phone out of your pocket, open it up just so you can hear that sound. What's that red light camera on deck? Woo, woo, okay. <laughs> Better him than me. You're gonna love sliding that camera up and down. It's just dope. But the only problem with Oppo phones, especially ones that's not made for the USA, you got a lot of Chinese bloatware on it. The OS, the, uh, the skin on it, that fun OS, it's cool, but it's very non-customizable. 
all right you can't use nova launcher you can use it actually if you got a phone number and you got it's just a whole big to do all right anybody got time to be setting up new accounts and getting new oppo accounts and phone numbers just so i can get nova launcher like that's trash you know nobody got time for all of that so there's a few things that about it that i don't like i will do a full video on it this week but the main thing I love about it is that camera. The camera, the slide up camera, the feature is nice, but the camera itself is pretty dope. And you'll see when I do the video, you'll see some of the video and the pictures that I caught, it's dope. Now, one of the drawbacks to it that a lot of people have been asking me about is the durability. I know everybody's seen the Ben test and all of that. And I'm, I'm honestly, I call that fake news, all right? I'm not gonna get into all of that durability. When I buy my phones, all right, and that Oppo, that's the phone that I bought out of my pocket so I'm not gonna deliberately try to break it so when I buy a phone for a thousand bucks I'm gonna treat it like a thousand dollar phone the same way you're gonna treat yours you're not buying no phone and then putting it in your back pocket and ride a motorcycle with it like you, you know if you, that's not the phone company's responsibility if you don't know how to treat a glass back phone then you don't need to be buying glass back phones you need to buy something like one of these Moto Z's you know with the indestructible display or one of these old school phones that's all aluminum buy something like that you're not gonna buy a phone that's all glass and has a working mechanism that camera that slides up and down you gotta you gotta treat it with a little bit more respect and a little bit more care now with my oppo i haven't been babying it like oh i got white gloves on acting like you know what i'm saying like it's the maltese falcon but i've been treating it like a thousand dollar phone i put a case on it when I go to the gym, I put it in my pocket. When I go to work, I put it on my table. When I get home, I throw it in the bed, throw it on the charger. I've been using it like a regular phone. I haven't been, you know, babysitting it. And I haven't had any issues with durability. Now, I do, I, I'm not gonna mention any names. I got a couple of uh, uh, a couple of comments from a few other YouTubers like asking me about the camera. Does the camera collect dust? Does, does the camera collect sand? Is it gonna get dirty? Is, there, is that gonna mess up the mechanism? And honestly, I haven't wiped the back of that camera yet, and I'm not gonna wipe it. Uh, when I when I do the full review, I'll show you how the camera looks. I looked at it last night after I got that comment, and it looks perfectly fine. No smudges or nothing. If you think about it, you're not gonna be touching that camera part. If any part of that phone is not gonna get smudged, it's the camera, because as soon as you put it away, it recesses. Your camera on your phone right now, it's in your pocket, it's getting lint all over it, it's getting scratched up. It's, this camera, if anything, should be more durable and stay more clean because it recesses in and out. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so Oppo Find X, I'm definitely feeling that phone, but a thousand bucks, no, all right? But I, you know, that's what I had to pay to get it imported. If I would've paid 700 bucks for that phone, I would've said, that's the sleep of the year. And even even for 750, maybe even 800, I'll take it. Now, somebody asked me, would I take a OnePlus 6 over the Oppo Find X? And the answer is no. Even with all the Chinese bloatware and all of the bullshit, I still rather have that phone than a OnePlus 6. A OnePlus 6, that's a workhorse phone, but it's pretty boring. It's basically stock Android. You know, the camera's decent, the speaker's decent. Like, it's not a blow you away phone, but it's a workhorse. It's a workhorse. So we'll do the Oppo Find X full review this week. Now, a lot of people been asking me, what's my work phone? My work phone to this day is still the Google Pixel 2 XL. That phone has never lagged on me yet, and I'm running Android VIP, all right? Android HNIC VIP on that phone, the beta version. No lag, no hiccups. I use that as my work phone, all right? Pixel is the work joint. So I'm, 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 I'm hoping that the Pixel 3 will take that mantle over as the work phone. The Pixel 3, that's nacho cheese, all right? Shout out to the Notch gang. Pixel 3, that's nacho cheese. It is what it is. I don't, I don't know why these companies going with that Notch shit, which brings me back, which brings me back to the Galaxy Note 9, all right? I got off track. Another thing that I don't like about it is that I, I think that they could have went bezel-less display. They could have went bezel-less display, even though you got minimum bezels on it, but still, I would have liked to have seen bezel-less display. It's 2018, all of these other companies is doing it. Samsung should have did that too. And another thing that I don't like about the Note so far, the fingerprint sensor. Now they got it right with the S9 Plus, they moved it down. I noticed with, with, with the Note 9, they moved the fingerprint sensor in the back, all the way back up, damn near touching the camera. Now look, there's the worst thing that you could do on your phone is eat some fried chicken, all right? <laughs> eat some fried chicken, then go to touch your fingerprint sensor and put that chicken grease 
on your camera and then not 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 really realize it you don't realize it until it's that moment when you need that dope picture what's gonna happen the picture's gonna come out blurry because you got uh, fried chicken grease on your camera so one of the things I don't like about the note is that fingerprint sensor is up a little bit too high they should have brought it down some anyway what else Vivo Next S now I'm gonna review that phone too I actually like that phone but the, the, the major downside to that phone is the camera now I do like that little pop-up selfie that's that's pretty cute but the camera itself is not the best the pictures they good for Instagram you know what I'm saying you're taking a picture of that cheeseburger it's good for that but if you take a picture of that same cheeseburger then you pull out your note or you pull out your iPhone that cheeseburger is gonna look ten times more scrumptious and delicious on your iPhone or your Galaxy than it is on that next and that again that's another phone I paid a thousand bucks to get shipped in that phone I would say that phone should be that should be a one plus six competitor that phone should be 700 bucks now I do like the on-screen fingerprint sensor it's the best one I use yet it's a little bit better than my mate RS I'm gonna talk about the mate RS in a second too it's a little bit better than that one it does have a full full screen display even though it's only what 338 ppi's that's that's not enough ppi's for me man i'm a, I'm a full-fledged card carrying member of the ppi patrol i need 500 ppi's in order to be satisfied anything under 500 ppi's i'm not really feeling that all right but anyway i'll do a full review on that too i might have to bash it a little bit but it is what it is again it's another phone with a bunch of chinese bloatware on it another phone that you can't really customize that the OS too much I would say skip that phone unless you could get it for 700 bucks same thing with the Oppo Find X if you could get that for 700 maybe 750 jump on it but don't pay a thousand bucks for it unless unless you just want to be that dude now I got to tell y'all a quick story I got to tell y'all a quick story this video might be kind of long because I'm just talking I got to tell y'all a quick story though I went bowling the other night I went with a couple of my dudes. They heavy in the tech, so they know I'm heavy in the tech too. So as soon as I, as soon as I roll up at the bowling alley, roll up. As soon as I pulled up at the bowling alley, all my dudes was like, "All right, yo, what phone you got on you today? What what you got?" So all my dudes had the galaxies. Everybody had the iPhones. So I said, "Yo, I got this new phone, the Oppo Find X." Now they heavy in the tech, but they not. They don't. They don't watch YouTube videos all day. So the people that don't watch YouTube probably never heard of the Oppo Find X. So they're like, oh, you got some bootleg, you got some bootleg Chinese phone on. Everybody trying to roast me until I flipped out that camera. If you've seen the look on my man Tone's face, shout out to Tone, that's my dude. If you've seen the look on his face when that camera slid up and Tone, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it to you like that right in front of your girl. Because even Tone's girl was like, yo, hold up, let me see that. And Tony gave me that look like, yo, come on, why you had to do me like that? I didn't mean to do it to you like that, Tone, but... If you just want a unique phone that has that badass feature, that has that exclusivity-ness, and you don't want to spend $2,600 on a Mate RS, that's the way to go. All right, now look, some people just want to have different phones, and that's okay. You could be tired of all these Galaxy phones, they're all the same. You're tired of all these iPhones, they're all the same. You want something different and unique, I would say get the Oppo Find X, pass on the Vivo Nex S. What else? Now, um, another question, a lot of people have been asking me, how come every time you see me in pictures or you bump into me in the street, I've been bumping into a lot of people from YouTube lately. How come every time you bump into me, I'm rocking an iPhone? Is the iPhone my daily driver? And the answer is no. I, the iPhone is not my daily driver, but I always gotta have an iPhone on me for a couple of reasons. Number one, FaceTime. I, me and my daughter, we be FaceTiming all day long. That's my little best friend. So I need that for the FaceTime and also iMessage. I like to play those iMessage games. So I need to have an iPhone on deck. Not to mention a lot of people that I knew, that I, that I rock with, they use Apple, uh, they use uh, iMessage. They use iMessage. So I gotta have my green bubbles on deck to stay abreast. But that's never gonna be my go-to phone. My, my, my daily driver is always gonna be an Android phone because I need split screen multitasking. I need full customization. And Android is just boss. Now, somebody asked me also, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to, I'm sorry y'all if I'm rambling, but I'm trying to think of questions and answer them at the same time. I'm trying to stay within the speed limit because police be patrolling this block heavy. So anyway, somebody asked me, does my iPhone lag? And I just got into this big um, argument on the Galaxy Note 9 video comment section with somebody saying that the iPhone lags, iPhone lags. You can say whatever you want about Apple, you can love them, you can hate them, but one thing you can never say about an iPhone is that phone lags. 
Anybody that's saying they iPhone lags, they don't know what lag is. iPhones do not lag. The thing that iPhone that does do is force closes. I now people people confuse lag with force closes. That's a big difference. I the iPhone will give you a lot of force closes, and the the biggest issue that I have with iPhones is the random resets. I hate that, and to me, it always happens at a moment when I really need my phone. Like I might be driving right now, and I say, "Oh, I, I see a dope Lamborghini parked up. I want to post that on Instagram." I grab my iPhone, open the camera app. As soon as I hit record the phone will go black you get that little spinning wheel takes a couple of seconds then it'll reset you to your home screen i literally hate that and that happens so much on my iphones now each each um ios update you, you don't you never know what you're gonna get All right, sometimes it fixes that problem a little bit more sometimes you do the update here we go again it's not lag but you got i call that hiccups you got a lot of hiccups on iphones but definitely no lag what else? All right, let me talk about this Mate RS. Now, a lot of people was asking me, how come I never did a full review on the Mate RS? And again, man, I didn't bother doing a full review on that because whenever I really like something, then I come off like a shill, like, like a shill. If you don't know what a shill is, that means a paid spokesman. Now, I like that phone so much, I already knew that everybody's gonna be like, oh, you're only saying that because, you know, Huawei hooked you up and all that, even though Huawei didn't give me that phone. I, I bought that phone myself, 2,600 bucks, but I am so impressed with that phone, but it does have problems, just like any other phone. And I would say the biggest problem with my Mate RS is the on-screen fingerprint sensor. For, for that to be one of the main selling points, it's not up to par. It's pretty slow. Sometimes you gotta really press your finger. You gotta really aim for it. You shouldn't have to work that hard. Now in the Vivo Next S, they did the fingerprint sensor on-screen right. And the biggest problem that I have with my Mate RS is lag. That phone has a little bit of lag. That's one of those phones that you're gonna have to reset, I say maybe every other day. Or if you wanna be, you know, just, just safe, as soon as you wake up in the morning, reset your phone. That's what I was doing with my Galaxy Note 8. As soon as I wake up in the morning, just reset it. I'm not talking about factory reset, just to turn it off, turn it back on. And that usually will cure a lot of it, uh, the lag, but with my Note 8, I'm still getting the lag. Same thing with my Mate RS. I'll do a reset on it and sometimes they'll still lag. Now, as far as the Mate RS, the cameras, that's my favorite camera. Same thing on the P20 Pro, that's my favorite camera. That, all of my dope pictures I got, I'm using the Mate RS or the P20 Pro. The camera is impeccable. The display, battery life, wireless charge, dual speakers, amazing. All right, so if y'all really want me to, I'll do a full review on the Mate RS. I know it's kind of late, you know, kind of late to the game, it's already, what, how many months that phone been out? I feel like I missed the window. But if y'all really wanna see it, then I'll do it. But it is what it is. What else? HTC U12 Plus, I'm feeling that phone. I, I'm definitely feeling that phone. Now, a quick thing about the U12 Plus, they just updated the OS. All right, so you got an OS update. So now those, remember in the video, I was bashing the buttons. The buttons actually got a little bit better now. They're a little bit more uh, responsive but I still don't like them. I still don't like the buttons on that phone, but I love the camera. I like the display. I love the dual speakers. I just miss wireless charging. Now for me, anytime I'm using a phone, I need wireless charging because I'm in my office a lot of times during the day, I'm sitting back in a chair and I'm watching videos. That's what I do, I watch them on the phone. Now here's another thing I wanna mention about the Galaxy Note 9. A lot of people was asking me about the S Pen. Is that a gimmick or is it really dope? The S Pen on the Galaxy Note 9, the dopest feature about it is that Bluetooth button. That's the dopest feature. Now, I'm not gonna spoil all my thoughts about it for the real review, but I'll tell you how I've been using it so far since I got it. And this morning it came perfect, perfect timing. When I'm at work, right, I'm sitting at my desk. So I got my, I got my Galaxy Note 9 on a wireless charging pad, faced up. So I'm sitting back, lean back in the chair, reclining. I got my feet up on the table and I'm watching car videos. That's what I watch at work. Watching a bunch of car videos. And I, I, when I watch car videos, I just skip to the next video. Each one I watch, skip, random. I don't just go to people I subscribe to. I try to watch as many random videos as I can. I, I think that's fun. The best part about the Galaxy Note 9 with that S Pen is while I'm laying back in the chair, I'm using the S Pen as a remote control. Now, when I did the video, people was like, oh, pause, pause and play the video. That's not that big, much of a big deal. It's not a, just about pausing and playing. It's about skipping to the next video. 
So now when you lean back in your chair and you got a nice comfortable position, you don't feel like moving, you're a couple of seconds away from falling asleep, you wanna skip to the next video, you got your S Pen, bang, skip to the next video. Double click, double click, skip to the next video. That's a sick feature. And that now keep in mind, that, that's a battery charged S Pen. So it takes one minute to charge it for 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, you have to plug it back in. But if your phone locks, if your phone display locks while the S Pen is out, you can click it and unlock it. You ain't gotta get up and go touch the phone. Now, it might seem like I'm making a big deal about that feature, but for me and the way the way I rock with it, I love that. I, I love that feature. So overall, <laughs> overall, like I said, Galaxy Note 9, my favorite phone right now. But we have to put it to the test. So, so far though, I haven't seen any lag. People that watch that unboxing video, somebody, somebody said, oh, they seen a little lag at, X amount at whatever minute, whatever, whatever. Look, I told y'all. I pay attention. I told y'all. I'm uploading or downloading actually, downloading 186 apps in the background. Not only downloading, but downloading and installing. So whenever you got a phone, I don't care what phone it is, if you do a backup and all your apps is coming in, and at the same time you try to start scrolling and opening, closing other apps and doing stuff, that phone is gonna lag. Trust me. iPhones, Android, Windows, it don't matter. If you're, doing a, if you're doing a backup on your phone, it's gonna lag. So right now, I haven't noticed any lag with my Galaxy Note 9 just yet. But when I do the full review, I'll put it to the test. Now, I, I'll leave this as an open-end question again. If there's anything specific y'all want me to test, uh, somebody said test the gaming, so I'm gonna download Fortnite. I don't really play them kind of games, but um, I'll download Fortnite, I'll try to get into it, I'll play that. We'll test the gaming speed, we'll test does it overheat. I'll test something that I never test on phones, call quality, because I don't really talk on the phone like that. I always use Bluetooth or hands-free, but I'll test the call quality. Somebody asked me to check some of the accessibility functions. I'll check all of that stuff too. Now, what videos do I got coming up this week? All right, so I got a bunch of LG speakers. I got the new, um, the PK series. So I got the PK7, PK5, and I think it's the PK1. Got all those LG speakers, we'll get into that. I got a, uh, a couple of new sound bars. A lot of people didn't like that, um, the price of that LG sound bar. Don't get mad at me, bro. I don't make the price, I just review the product. All right? If it's up to me, the price would be 100 bucks on everything, a thousand bucks. You gotta do your Googles. All right? If you do your Googles, you're not gonna find Dolby Atmos sound bars for less than a thousand bucks. So really, that's not a bad price for what you're getting. Now, I'm not a salesman, I'm not trying to sell y'all the LG sound bar, but I'm just keeping it real. Like if you're looking for Dolby Atmos, you're gonna pay more than a thousand bucks. Now me, Dolby Atmos ain't the biggest deal in the world for me. I'd rather have loud sound. So for my go-to sound bar, it's the, it's the uh, Sonos 2P1s, a Sonos Play Bar, and the bass tube. That's my go-to setup. Second setup after that would be the Bose with the bass module and the sound bar and the little surrounds. There's a little surrounds, they kind of trash with the Bose, but the sound bar and the bass module makes up for it. Then after that, LG, and then everything else. So this week I got some budget ones. I right, for everybody that's trying to save a dollar. I'm with y'all, I like saving money too. So I got some budget ones coming to $100, like 250 bucks, I got those too. Also, um, Galaxy Note 9 cases. Y'all know we bringing back the Caseologist series. I got Spec, Tech 21, Spigen, UAG, Lumion, uh, Case Fanatics, basically uh, Caseology. Basically all of my go-to case companies, I'm gonna bring them back out again. All right now, I need to go to the ATM. Shout out to the Scamly, I right, the Scamly in Queens. I gotta go all the way to the airport to go to the ATM because you can't trust any of these ATMs around here because these Scamly cats, they got them little chips on all of the ATMs. They keep getting my cards, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta go to this one spot that I know that nobody can't get in to set up that scanner because it's right next to the credit union. All right, so the Scamly family, they not, they not going in there, so I gotta go there now. What else, um, what else I got for this week? Uh, I got some uh, gaming headphones, some gaming uh, gaming RGB stuff, y'all know our RGB life. Oh, matter of fact, I got the new, the new LG, I forgot the name of it. Y'all know the Party Thruster, the one that's in the background of all my streams? They came out with a newer version, so I got that one coming up, so we'll get into that too. Anyway, if there's anything y'all want to talk about, hit me up in the comments. Like I said, I'm my bad for this uh, rambling and venting and going all off the script. But it's, 
try making a video, driving and talking, and keep it. I had a whole, I had a whole script in my mind of everything I wanted to talk about. As soon as I started driving, I, I literally forgot all of it. You know what I'm saying? And there's a dude behind me right now. I can tell he's driving a, I can tell he's driving a Beamer. He riding my back, mad tight. He must want to race. Let me let him go by and see if he, if he want that action or not. See if he want any smoke. Oh, okay. Big, big, big truck. I don't, I don't be wasting my time with big trucks. I only seen the angel eyes. I thought he wanted some smoke. I don't, I don't, I don't play with the trucks. It's not worth my time. <laughs> not saying. Anyway. Now, let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah, okay. Like I said, um, I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow night. Because I'm supposed to go to Six Flags on Monday. So I really want to be fresh for that. That's a lot of walking. So I might stream for a couple of minutes. Then again, I might not. Maybe I'll get Amaya to stream with me and we'll do it together. Oh yeah, let, let me let me let me talk about this real quick. Shout out to everybody that subscribed to Amaya's channel. That's the that's where you're gonna see me doing silly stuff. I'm I, I'm I'm trying to keep away from the silly stuff on my channel, like the baby food challenges and you know the the weird taste tests and all that. I don't, I'll do that on her channel because she likes to participate in that kind of stuff. So I'll do that on her channel. So if y'all want to see me doing silly stuff, you can see it there. Now I did get a special request to taste test that um that new Ciroc, the VSOP. I should just cop that right now because um I do gotta do stuff in the morning. I should just cop that. <laughs> I gotta get in. I gotta get in. I should just cop that right now and have a little little taste test. But um I don't know. I'm in the mood for a margarita. Anyway. Anything else? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself. I'm making a video though. I, I, I feel like I'm just talking to myself. I'm thinking out loud though. Is there anything else I forgot to cover? Any new phones coming out? Mm, we covered. Oh, uh, oh yeah, LG G7. People been asking me, do I still use the G7? And I gotta be honest with y'all. Not really. I use the G7 when I'm in my bed, and all of my other phones that I need for tomorrow are charging up. Then I take the G7 and I use that in the bed. I'm not knocking the phone and all that. It's a great phone, but it's just too much other stuff that's bigger and better. Like, I like big screen phones. So, to me, there's a lot of stuff out right now that's bigger. So, I tend to go for the bigger phones. Oh, bingo. Huawei. Yo, shout out to Huawei, man. Huawei is really killing the game now. People are asking me why I don't say Hawaii anymore. I don't say Hawaii anymore because I got to put some respect on their name. I, I can't be clowning their name because they really killing the game right now. They doing it so big. You see they got the Honor Note 10. Now I've been on the hunt for one of those. I shout out to my man Charlie. He on his way to Hong Kong. So I told him if you find one out there, pick it up for me. I seen it on, um, I think it was AliExpress. AliExpress for like, I think 550 bucks or whatever. But me personally, I got burned too many times on AliExpress and Alibaba and um, Gearbest. I try to stay away from those sites because sometimes they, a couple of times it happened to me personally and then you go read the comments for people that buy stuff. They be sending you, they be sending you refurbished products or you get the product and it'll be like, the, the, the box will be messed up and it'll be all chewy and all that. I try to stay away from that. I, I, I really buy my stuff on Amazon even if I gotta spend more from a private seller, at least I got that Amazon A to Z guarantee. I know Amazon don't play. If something's wrong, I'm getting my money back. But anyway, on a Note 10, I'm gonna get that. You seen the um the Huawei? They got the Nova 3. I might get that too. Nova 3. That seemed kind of you know budget range. I also just ordered. It should be here tomorrow, actually, either tomorrow or Monday. The Umi Digi Z. I think it's called the Z2. Z2 Pro. I forgot the name. But a lot of times in the middle of the night, I'll be going through my comments and somebody will say, oh um. Yo, you should review this, you should review that. And I'll just be like, okay, cool. I'll take it right to Amazon and cop that. So that happened the other night. Somebody asked me to check out the Umi Z. I went on Amazon, I found it for like 350 bucks. So I was like, that's pretty expensive for an Umi phone. Usually those Umi phones is cheap, like 100, 200 bucks. So I said 350, they must be working with something. I looked at it, it looks like an iPhone clone. You know what I'm saying? An Android version of an iPhone 10. So um, I just ordered it, we'll, we'll get into that anyway. And we'll check that out. <laughs> Here we go. We'll get into that and check that out. Uh, what else? All right, so we talk about Umi Z. 
Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. So let me just um, let me just cruise around now. I'm, I'll probably edit all this stuff out. I'm just trying to think if anything comes to my mind, I'll let y'all know. Oh, um, something just popped in. Bumper. All right, shout out to everybody that's seen those bumper videos. Again, that's not. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, I do want to talk to y'all about something. I, maybe I'll pull over and talk to y'all about that too. Shout out to Bumper, man. I, I don't know if I made this clear or not in the video, but I don't work with Bumper. I, they not sponsoring me or nothing. I actually hit them up. Somebody tagged me in a picture on, on Instagram of the Bumper, so I sent them a DM. I was like, yo, um, let me get one of those. I want to review it because I, I want to review it because if it works, I'm going to buy them and I'm going to advertise them to, to my car club. I hope y'all make some sales. Like I didn't ask them for no money. I didn't ask them to give me nothing for free. I said, let me just try it out and see if it works. So I tried it out and it definitely works and it was pretty sick. Now it's one of those times that I can actually literally co-sign on something and say that it's dope. That bumper is so sick. Now a lot of people have been asking me to do the um, the camera that comes with it. It's not out yet. So once once that camera, it's an Orky camera, I don't expect it to be high res, high quality for 90 bucks. It's probably trashy. But as long as it works, as long as I get a bumper notification that I get a picture right after that, I'll take that. But I will do a review, a review on that. And shout out to Bumper. After I did the video, they liked it and all that. So they asked me to do a giveaway. So I said, okay, cool. As long as y'all giving me one first, I'll start with that. Do a giveaway, give me one first, and y'all can give away as much as y'all want. And they was like, no problem. So I'm gonna give away, I don't know, five or 10 of them. But I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna do the giveaway video and they'll pick the winners and they'll ship them out. So this way my hands will be clean with that. But the bumper is pretty dope. Now, one more thing I wanted to talk about, paid videos. All right, now, we was talking about shilling. I had <laughs> shot to everybody that be shilling. We was talking about shilling just now. If you don't, like I said, if you don't know what a shill is, a shill is somebody that will make a video for something and even though they don't like it, they'll say they like it because they got paid to make it. Now, in my 10 years on YouTube, I've never done that. I've never said I like something that I don't like. And to keep it real with y'all, in all of these years, I only got paid to make one video. Now, a lot of people just don't understand that. Like, people think that just because Samsung uses in a commercial or Samsung give you a free phone, that they're paying you to make the video. They're not going to pay you to make the video. They're giving you the phone. That's payment. And that's up to you whether you like it or not. You know, some people are going to go extra hard because they want to keep getting those phones for free. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because at the end of the day, all right, this is my credit union right here. At the end of the day, if I like the phone and I don't get it for free, I'm going to buy it anyway. And if I don't like it and I got it for free, I'm going to trash it because in my opinion, my credibility is worth more than getting a free phone. Like the free phone is only going to go so far. You know what I'm saying? My, my, credit, my, my credit union, my credibility is more important to me. Now, when it comes to making these uh, sponsored videos, matter of fact, let me let me get an official parking space before the night crab come up in here and get too packed. This is the only this is the only ATM I can really trust out here that the scamly ain't get yet. But anyway, in the space of the ten years that I've been on YouTube, I've only done one paid video, and that was for the Cricket Wireless. Now. For that video, I said at the beginning of the video, I said this video is sponsored by Cricket Wireless. I never said Cricket Wireless is the best wireless service. They got the best deals in the world. I told y'all it's $55 a month. Nobody can't argue with that, that's, that's a good price. I never said that I use that as my main, my main carrier. I never said if you got Verizon, cancel your Verizon contract and get Cricket Wireless. I never said none of that. I never said none of that. That was basically a commercial. Now people do commercials for the same reason that people get up in the morning and go to work for the money. All right, I got a daughter that's in private school. She go to cheerleading and all that. She like to have all the latest stuff, and I like to I like to give it to her. So sometimes I gotta do stuff to make money. That's why I still go to work every day and I do what I do. But when it comes to the paid videos, you'll know it when I do a paid video. I only did one. I'm gonna do another one for Cricket. I right, shout out. I think it's um one of these Motorola phones. I will do another one. But it's just a commercial. I don't don't read too deep into it. It's just a commercial. It's the same way you see LeBron James does an Old Spice commercial. Do you really think LeBron James is walking around with a twenty thousand dollar suit on and some thirty thousand dollar shoes and a fifty thousand dollar bag and wearing Old Spice body spray? 
He's not doing that. You think Shaquille O'Neal is putting um, the general car insurance on his Maybach or his Ferrari or his Lamb, whatever car he got? You think he's putting the general insurance on that? Of course not. It's a commercial and people watch commercials and you know what it is, it's advertising for a product. Just that simple. Now, when I do my real reviews, you're never gonna hear me say this is a real review and it's, I'm getting paid to do that. I would never say that. I, and I, I even took it to the next level with this Note 9 because I like to do a real review. I like to give y'all my real consumer perspective. So I even took it to the next level. I didn't have to buy a Note 9, I just got one for free. I didn't have to buy them, but I'm buying one anyway because I'm gonna use that as my daily driver and I wanna go into this shit with the same mindset that y'all going to. I can't give y'all a customer perspective review and I'm not really a customer. I can't do that. So when it's, when it's a video that I'm not a real customer about, I'm not gonna call it a real review. I'll be like, this is a video about X, Y, Z. But when I say real review in the title, you can believe that I'm not getting paid to make that video and you can believe that I paid money for that product. Just that simple. Anyway, let me wrap this up. Let me see, we've been going for about 47 minutes. Yeah, let me wrap this up. Let me go get some bread and uh, take it over and get some margaritas. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's anything y'all wanna talk about. I'm gonna be in this comment section all day tomorrow because I got a long day at work. It's gonna be mad boring. So to pass the time, I'll be in the comment section replying all of the comments. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.